This is TJ with Solutions by TJ. And listen, I had to fight so hard with this doggone Identitrust that I decided to create a video so that you don't have to go through the same thing, honey, because, oh, it frustrated me to the nines. So just a little bit of a backstory. Um, I was in Notarize up, updating my digital certificate. Uh, not even updating my digital certificate, trying to use the doggone thing and couldn't remember the password. Hello? So the moral, if you don't get nothing else from this video, when I say password, you listen closely because two passwords are required in Identitrust. You need to put them in notepad on your computer and save them forever. Make sure that your, your computer is safe, you know, but... It's two passwords. It is so freaking confusing. Trust me. So that's why I created this video on how to obtain a digital certificate um, through Ident Identity Rust. Identrust. However, the freak you say it. Identitrust. I done spelled it wrong on here and everything, y'all. Sorry. Anyway, you get the you get the gist of it. So when you first log on to Identrust, I spelled it right. When you first log on, log on to Identrust, to get to the portion where your digital certificate is, you'll have to go to Manage My Certificate and then click on Certificate Management Center. After that, it'll take you to this page. Now, there's a place where you can check the status of your certificate, but you wanna go down to Access My Account. What I had to do was actually replace uh, my certificate. So um, in order to do that, this is the login. So here, this is where I tell you, listen, don't forget this, create two passwords, save them to notepad on your computer, label them password number one and password number two. Okay. Label them password number one and password number two. Now, when you log in here, you are going to use password number one. When you get in here, in order to replace the password, you come down to this portion. For, for this certificate, you would like to replace your certificate. When you press continue, it's going to say, okay, replacing your certificate will result in the revocation of your current certificate. To continue, click OK. Now, I had to replace mine. This was my first one because I forgot the doggone password. The steps that we are going through are identical to setting up your initial certificate. The only thing that you'll have to do is come down here and choose another option here, which would be to create password. And there are also, I use Notarize. So there are also additional steps in Notarize, and I'll add a link to that below in the description. All right, so I wanted y'all to look at once I received the, um, I'm sorry, once I revoked that, you can see it here, down here, this status is revoked of the one that I created on January 5th. It was created on January 5th, 2022. I started the process of revoking that one. And, they, and this comes after you press that continue. All right, so it says, welcome, it's time to get your certificate. I'm ready. Please check if my, my system is ready and you click that button. And then you come here to uh, accept the subscriber agreement and click next. Now, this is where it starts getting funny. Okay, the very first thing that you need to do is download this. It's an application onto your computer. Once you download it and open it up, you drag, it'll open a screen that looks like this. When you open this retrieval, Identrust retrieval application, this is what will appear and it'll say retrieval key. You drag, you you. Uh, hold down your mic, mouse pad and drag this key over to this lock. And that's what actually generates the retrieval key. I'll say that one more time. You click on your mouse and drag this key over to the lock. And that is what creates that retrieval key. 
Once you do that, it'll say welcome. One moment, please. Now, once your keys have been generated, click generate keys when you're ready. The retrieval key. Once the retrieval key has been generated, then you want to generate your keys. Make sure... Okay, so it says, the. you go back, it says the retrieval key has been successfully authenticated. Now, make sure that these are the same exact words on your screen to generate the actual keys to your digital certificate. So it should be Microsoft Enhanced Cryptographic Provider version 1.0, then RSA 2084. Then you click Generate Keys. Okay, once, so this was the screen that you left. Now you're, it's asking you to create another password. Save this password as password number two in Notepad. If you do this, you ain't gonna be able to find that daggum password, sweetheart. So listen to me. Create another password and save it on your computer in Notepad. Then click Finish. Once you click Finish, It'll say an application is creating a protected item, crypto AIP private key, and you uh, just click OK here. Now, this is uh, very important when you're creating the second password because it will not let you go forward. Do not use special characters in the password. Don't use an at, exclamation point, dollar sign, none of that. Only letters. Only letters. I don't even think I use numbers in mine. It would only accept letters. And it took me so many iterations to understand that. So that's why I'm telling you, do not use numbers or special characters in the password when this comes up. And say, don't think you're going to remember that daggum password. Write it down, record it immediately into Notepad. All right. And then once you do that, you create the, um, you press OK on that other screen. It says generating a repair key, a key. I'm sorry, generating a key pair, and it'll tell you to wait. Now, after it has done that, it will say, you'll see this screen back here in the back, and you click next, and then this screen will come up, and you say, see my certificate. Okay, so it'll ask you to see the certificate, which certificate you'd like to look at or like to see, and then it'll tell you to back the certificate up. So which certificate would you like to back up? Always back up the signing certificate. This encryption certificate normally goes via email. From what I've been told, you don't need this, so don't worry about this one. Click on this one and then, uh, and then go from there. So once you click on signing, you come to a wizard. Welcome to the certificate export wizard. Now, this is what gets this, this um, certificate onto your computer. That's the step. So again, when we go back, what it means by back up, back it up, it backs it up onto your computer so then you can use it other places, right? Because right now, your digital certificate is within the cloud. If you want to back it up, you back it up onto your computer by choosing signing and then the very next screen will appear. Okay, welcome to the certificate export wizard. Click next. And then it'll ask you where you want to export it to. Make sure that you have this prefix PFX because that's what it's gonna come out as. That's very important because certain providers do not accept anything but PFX and P12 and Notarize is one of those. So. I just let it go because I tried to browse and get a place of my own and it kept changing the name. Listen, remember where this is going and just let it go. It, it, it saved it on my desktop. More than likely, it's going to save it on your desktop. Just allow it because you're going to go through too much trying to save it somewhere else. So just allow it to save through your desk to your desktop and click on next. Now, this is another password. Look down here. This part is confusing. This is where you use password number one. Exporting your private exchange key, use password number one here. 
and then it'll say export successful. Now, when you want to access your um, digital certificate, you'll always use password number two to access your digital certificate. Okay, so you can see your digital certificate just by clicking here. You can test your digital certificate or you can just get out of it, period. If you want to see what information is on your digital certificate, you can do that as well. All right, folks, so that's it for this video. If you need to contact me, have any questions, please answer those questions in the comments below. I will do my absolute best to answer any and every question that you have. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with me, do so at clarity.fm backslash Latanya S. Johnson. Please do subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for coming and visiting and watching this video. Subscribe to me on this channel at YouTube Solutions by TJ. I'm also on Facebook. Join my Facebook group. It's called Solutions by TJ, Notary Networking and Knowledge. And if you have anything that you want to get to me directly, hit me up at my email address, support at solutionsbytj.com. Keep in mind that we offer mentorship. We offer um, a membership course. And we have so much to give you this year. So join us. Our membership course is absolutely amazing. If you want to take your business to the next level, it's a must. And trust me, when you join our membership, we are going to make you your money back on a monthly basis. Right now, we're going through business credit. Uh, we're going through months of uh, marketing and teaching you different ways than you've ever seen before of how to market your notary signing agent business. This is important for us all because this industry is ever changing. So I am going to see you on the other side and thank you so much. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to this channel and enter any comments that you have below. God bless you and I'll see you on the other side.